game invented in a Russian casino. A game of pure chance. You pay a fixed fee to enter, and then a coin will be tossed repeatedly until a tails first appears, ending the game. Each time the coin lands on heads, the pot is doubled. The odds of recovering your money are less than 10%, and winning any large sum much, much smaller. And that's the paradox, as no sane person would play this game. Enter Henry V, a Texas wastrel with an old habit of gambling with other people's money and losing. In his latest harebrained scheme, he enters the St. Petersburg paradox with a $60 billion stack, loses, borrows $60 billion more, and loses that. Now he's facing gambler's ruin. And as Krusty the Clown's accountant once told him, gambling is the best thing a person can do, as long as you're good at it. As the 
the sun sets, people begin returning from their walks. The moviegoers enter the street all at once and appear to Merceau as if they have seen an adventure film. The girls and young men laugh and play flirting games as they walk past. Suddenly, Merceau notices the street lights come on and the stars appear in the sky. His eyes begin to fatigue. The streetcar lights bounce off of objects. Once the street is deserted, Merceau goes to buy some things for dinner. He cooks and eats standing and then closes the windows. He realizes that nothing much has changed. Another Sunday is over and the soldiers are buried. Let me introduce myself I'm a man of wealth and taste I've been around for many a long, long year Stole many a man's soul and face Yes, I was around when Jesus Christ Had his moment of doubt and pain Damn sure the pilot washed his hands and sealed his face. Pleased to meet y'all and I hope you guess my name. Oh, he's in here. and his ministers while Anastasia screamed in vain I rode a tank held a generous rank 